Did you know that there are 190 recognized dog breeds in the world? Yes, 190. That's why today we're going to take a look at some of the rarest dog breeds in the world. Do not misunderstand us. We adore Labradors, Corgis, and Little Chihuahuas just as much as the next person. However, we are eager to witness all the beauty and variety that the dog species has to offer. Let's take a look at some dog breeds that we probably won't see the next time we visit a dog park. Chinook Chinook is a rare American sled dog breed. Today, the breed is recognized as the state dog of New Hampshire. Originally bred by Arthur Treadwell Walden of New Hampshire in the early 20th century, Chinooks represent a mix of Greenland and Mastiff slash Street Bernard. Its name is derived from Walden's lead sled dog, Chinook, and all modern dogs can trace their heritage to this ancestor. In 1981, there were only 11 breed able Chinooks left due to lax breeding efforts. Despite being one of the rarest canines in the world, there are now about 800 Chinooks living in the United States, thanks to the efforts of breeders all across the country. Chinooks are a medium-sized breed with a lean, balanced body. They usually have a medium-length coat and a chestnut or reddish-gold appearance. Chinooks get along well with other dogs and make excellent family pets. Legato Romagnolo brought back from the verge of extinction. The Legato Romagnolo is another ancient breed that is now very rare, although it has a much larger place in history. Much of this can be attributed to the water dog frequently appearing in Italian Renaissance art, and some of this to its less specialized use and ability to adapt to other new circumstances. Legato Romagnola's adorable curly coat certainly helped boost its popularity, but it serves a practical purpose first and foremost. These medium to large sized dogs are used to retrieve waterfowl from the water for hunters, and their thick curly coat helps insulate their bodies from cold and water. The curly hair of this breed provided a new benefit by helping to shield them from thorns and brambles while they foraged through the woods as water dogs went out of fashion. Eventually, popular interest in the breed waned considerably. As of 2009, a community of passionate breeders has kept the Legato Romagnolo alive, even though there are only about 500 members of the breed in the United States. Azawak The Azawak were originally from the Sahara Desert and were mostly employed for hunting gazelles and other local wildlife. They can move rapidly and change directions suddenly like their prey thanks to their lean, athletic shape. Because they are sighthounds, they are drawn to motion. They will pursue anything moving including bicycles, moving cars, and running kids. But they also exhibit a lot of shyness towards strangers. They are still quite uncommon outside of their native country. There could be a number of explanations for why they are unpopular outside of the desert. They cannot survive in frigid climates to start. They are intolerant of cold climates because they are from a hot, dry region. They may also be distant. They typically don't let anyone approach who they are unfamiliar with. They can be troublesome because of their urge to chase anything that moves, and living in an apartment with them is difficult. Bedlington Terrier The distinctive lamb-like appearance of the Bedlington Terrier draws you in, but don't be fooled by his appearance. The Bedlington is a purebred terrier, which means it is curious, perceptive, vigilant, and hostile to tiny creatures in the wild. Bedlingtons enthusiastically participate in their family's activities. They enjoy being in the spotlight and will act silly to gain it. Bedlingtons are friendly and enjoy entertaining visitors, but they will let you know if they suspect someone is questionable. People in Bedlington claim that their dogs make excellent watchdogs because they have sharp judgment. Exercise is important to keep Bedlington happy and healthy, but they have moderate energy levels and activity needs. He will adjust his activity level to suit your activity level and may be satisfied with a pleasant walk or an intense game of picking. He can go jogging with you or go hiking. Although rarely used in the field, its hunting abilities include spotting, tracking, and of course, landing behind burrowing animals. Whatever you do with him, he'll be happy to be a couch potato afterwards. Stabby Hound. The Stabby Hound breed has lived almost exclusively in the province of Friesland in the Netherlands since the 1800s and did not leave the country until the 2000s. 
This dog's name roughly translates to Stand By Me Dog, which is a good name for them as they stand by their farmer owners for whatever they need. They are bred and owned primarily by farmers with limited financial means who need a dog capable of hunting, herding, working, and living indoors as a companion. These farmers preferred a dog with good all-around skills because they couldn't afford to buy one for each particular duty. They are also quite uncommon because of their lack of expertise. They have been considered less desirable since they lack specialization in any one field. Nevertheless, the Stabby Hound is renowned for being kind and amiable, particularly to other animals and kids. They need to be physically active because they are hunting dogs, and they adore swimming. When possible, they will spend a lot of time in the lake, pool, or any other body of water close to their house. Cannon Dog the Cannon Dog, a standard Middle Eastern dog breed, is also called the Bedouin Sheepdog and the Palestine Pariah Dog. The term Pariah Dog comes from the Hindi word Pati, which means outsider, and refers to Cannon Dogs because of their frequent position as stray or abandoned animals. Cannon Dogs are now widespread across Israel, Jordan, Lebanon, Egypt, Iraq, and Syria, with the majority living there. There are between 2,000 and 5,000 cannon dogs in the world, according to various estimates. They have historically served as security dogs for the encampment and cattle of the Bedouin tribe. Dr. Rudolfina Menzel's efforts to domesticate and train semi-wild populations in Israel contributed to the breed's standardization. With a wolf-like head, square shape, dense coat, and curled tail, they still have a wild aspect. They are naturally defensive yet not unduly aggressive. Dandy Dinmont Terrier The Dandy Dinmont Terrier is an unusual breed of terrier that originated in Scotland. It takes its name from a character in Sir Walter Scott's book, Guy Mannering, making it the only known breed to be named after a fictional character. Supposedly, the author compared this character to the alleged founder of the breed, James Davidson, derived from ancient hunting dogs. Hunters in Scotland and England originally bred the Dandy Dinmont Terrier in the 1600s to hunt badgers and otters. There are currently between 1,000 and 2,000 dogs registered in the UK, where it is listed as a vulnerable indigenous breed due to the low number of puppies registered annually. This breed is distinguished by its short legs and elongated body. They have silky coats and distinctive long tufts of hair on their heads. Despite being a hardy breed, they are also quite docile and generally suitable for families. Tilomian, Malaysia's rare climbing dog. The Tilonian's rarity reflects the fact that it was originally bred by the isolated Orang Asli people of Malaysia and developed unique traits to serve its community. A small to medium-sized breed known for its ability to hunt snakes and mice, the Tilomian bears a striking resemblance to similar specialized terrier breeds. Each Tilomian can be identified by their distinctive black mask, but their most distinguishing feature is perhaps their dexterous feet, which they developed as a means of climbing ladders used to to the high houses of the Orang Asli people. Although there are a small number of these rare dogs in the United States, there are still not enough of them to qualify for member of the American Kennel Club. The Tilomian is less domesticated than most other breeds, making it a harder breed to fit into the average family. Mutie one of Hungary's best-kept secrets. The Mutie is proof that rarity doesn't have to be a barrier to receiving official recognition from recognized kennel groups. The Mutie, the smallest of the three species of herding dogs found in Hungary, has drawn some interest as a pet in North America and as a type of rescue dog in Finland. Despite having a history extending back to the 19th century, many of the dogs were exterminated when the Nazis invaded and occupied Hungary in World War II. This breed has recovered from the verge of extinction thanks to conscious conservation measures, and its number has increased to a few thousand. Even though it was still uncommon, this dog was able to win American Kennel Club approval in 2022. The Moody Dog breed may be trained to be an all-purpose helper and is extremely adaptable, intelligent, and vigilant. These courageous Hungarian farm dogs are excellent for handling even the most uncooperative and difficult animals. Without being aggressive, the breed is regarded as being devoted and protective. They also make wonderful household pets. Swedish Valhund The Swedish Valhund dogs are athletic dogs, excelling at obedience, agility, tracking, herding, and pitching.
as well as being traditionally a farm dog used for herding livestock. The small, mighty, and fearless breed comes in a variety of colors and tail lengths, from ponytails, no tails, to curly tails. True to its heritage as a farm dog, the Swedish Valund is an intelligent and alert companion. He is an active dog that needs an equally active owner. Train him in dog sports or give him a chore to do housework, and you'll get along well with him. Swedish Valunds are generally healthy, although they may be victims of an inherited eye disease called retinopathy. His medium-length coat comes in a variety of colors and combinations. That's all for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions regarding this, let us know in the comment section. Like and subscribe the video, and don't forget to hit the bell button.